So I like to put labels on all my tubs and um, what I did was I just printed out some letters or you could do numbers using a laser printer then I had I laminated them and stuck them on with blue tack but they do look pretty snazzy. You can act, you do get stickers with the kits so you can actually use these instead if you really want to they recommend that you put those on the tubs and you could just use a permanent marker but they do look pretty snazzy if they're printed out. The Dymo labels lab makers are pretty cool and I use them to label all my individual components so I keep them all separate. I keep all my hubs here and I've got them all labelled A to J and I've also got a lot of the other components labelled here. I keep the ball bearings separate but I've got all my force sensors here and they've all got little labels on them for each kit and I've got colour slash light sensors for every kit labelled as well. And I also have individual tubs for all the motors. So I can give each child or each group a little tub that matches their kit. So for example, if they're in group F, they'll have a tub with all the little group F motors in it. And I've actually got four of each motor because I bought this expansion pack for each kit. And I thoroughly recommend you get the expansion pack because not only do you get some really cool extra pieces like big wheels but you also get an extra large servo motor and another light sensor so every little container here the students have got a container full of four different motors two big ones and two medium ones and that just keeps them nice and tidy and I've also got another tub that I put all my extra sensors in that I don't use as much at the moment so I've got all my extra light sensors and my ultrasonic sensors in that particular tub so at the start of each lesson, I've got an iPad. This is Group H, for example, an iPad with an H on it, but also all the sensors, all the motors and the brick have all got an H on it. And at the end of the lesson, I encourage them to put them back exactly like that. I put a photo up on the TV that looks a bit like this and the kids know exactly what they need to do at the end of the lesson. And then they only take a few minutes to do that. And that way I know if any of the pieces are missing. Please like and subscribe to my video channel um, and check out my other Spike Prime videos.